Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Uh, joined today by Lee. Hi. Lee's brought over a couple of guitars for me mm. to uh, check out. So, what are we doing today? Um, well, we seem to get some comments on the um, Q and A show. Yeah. Uh, when we talk about sort of slightly cheaper end guitars like Harley Benton and Jet. Yeah. Um, both brands that I I really enjoy, and um, we get comments about um, about the playability of the guitars. Um, about the neck radius, about the weight of the guitars, how they feel in the hands and all that kind of thing. So I thought it might be good to kind of like shoot them out. So Lee likes more budget instruments? Yeah. I wouldn't say budget. This doesn't feel like a budget instrument. That is, That feels incredible, I think. This mm. thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, but Lee likes, you like buying lots of different guitars and the more sort of budget or the more sort of medium budget end. Mm. Um, so this is a Harley Benton. Harley Benton Fusion 3. Yeah. And we're comparing it against. That's a Jets JS400. Price wise? Uh, this was 169. Uh, but it's it's had a few it's had a few mods done to it. Okay. Um, that one was. I picked the Harley Benton up actually in a sale because uh, Toman did a 25th anniversary sale recently. And that was £222. Okay. And that's completely stock. I've done nothing to that apart from set it up. So let's do weight first. And I know that you can pick up, you know, another version of this and it might be very light and mm. this might be very heavy, but there is a massive difference in the weight between this and that. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at the sounds because, I mean, they are different guitars, but they've got different pickups in and you've changed the pickup in the jet, haven't you? I have, yeah. Output of these pickups, <laughs> it's, you, they are massive output, aren't they? They're you can, really high you can coil tap it. Oh, you, you can. Yeah. Is that on both on both yeah, the humbuckers? Both humbuckers, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not for the faint hearted, is it? It's it's really high output yeah, on that. Yeah. Absolute rock machine. Yeah. How does it feel neck wise? Because that's uh that's a roasted maple neck and it's got steel frets. It's got steel frets, is it? Yeah. This feels like an expensive guitar. Mm. If you'd have given me that next to a sir or anything like that, and I've had quite a few sirs, and I was blindfolded, I would not know the difference. Mm. I think that is absolutely amazing. Right. Jeff. So this is a God, it's heavy. This is, heavy. <laughs> this is a cheaper guitar, isn't it? Yeah, this one's a bit cheaper than the uh, Harley Benson. Yeah. So you've put a thorn buckler in this, haven't you? I did. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
I prefer the humbuck on this. Yeah. But I prefer the feel of that one, without a doubt. I mean, they're both, they're amazing for the money. They're, they're, and and this, one, this one, again, is roasted maple now. I don't think it's quite as heavily roasted as that one. No, no. Because that one's almost chocolate brown, that one. Yeah. Uh, but those are regular nickel frets. They're not steel frets. This is crazy. Amazing, amazing. Is tuning a bit, but <laughs> well, I don't even know why I'm a snob. I can, and I say this every time you come over and bring a guitar over, but they're great, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. And the thing about them is, is that, you know, because they're so cost effective, you know, you can easily make changes to it if you want to. If you don't like the pickup or you don't like the trem bridge or, you know, whatever it is, you know, because you're not, you know, you're not going to damage a really expensive guitar if you mess it up, you know. Um, yeah. I think for me, if I was going to pick one, oh, oh, have you changed the, the string tree on this? Yeah, so it's a graphite okay. it's a graphite string tree on there. I put some okay. locking tuners on it as well, only because it was that's a cheap, easy mod to do. See, I wanted I really wanted to like the Harley Benton more, and I do as a guitar, as a as an instrument, I think it's it's a better I'm just feeling all the frets. They're good, they're all good. Um and I think it's a better made guitar. Right. But it's it's not night or day. No. But I would I would definitely buy that if someone gave me the choice. I would buy that as a as an instrument over that. I prefer the configuration of this. I prefer the, yeah, yeah. the more sort of strat yeah. as opposed to the twin humbucker thing, which yeah, I yeah. wouldn't normally use. You can get Harley Benton fusions with, with HSS. Can you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But absolutely cracking guitars. So that's the winner for me. Yep. Yeah. That's the winner. But but there's not a lot between them. 160 quid? <laughs> yeah. Mate, that's absolutely And just bonkers. over 200 for this one. That's absolutely bonkers. I mean, it's... Yeah, why do I buy expensive guitars? <laughs> Thank you. 
There's no doubt that changing the pickup. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I definitely prefer the Thornbucker. I mean, I love Thornbuckers. Yep. But that sounds incredible, that humbucker. It does. It really suits that guitar as well. It really suits that guitar. Yeah. Yeah. So if you've got one of these and you want a good choice of pickups to swap it with, put a, um, a Sir Thornbucker in it. It sounds absolutely incredible. <laughs> I think that sounded better. This sounds better than my HSS Strat that I had. Oh, okay. I think it plays better as well. There was something weird about that Strat that it didn't. It felt really unbalanced mm. with the with the humbucker and the and the single coils. And even though these are the the Jet single coils, mm, they yeah. sound great. <laughs> Would you and if you had to have one if you had to get rid of one yeah and you could only have one guitar yeah what would be the one you keep i'd probably keep this one would you i would yeah only because of the versatility if you've got um you know humbucker for the rock stuff you've got the single the really nice sounding single coils for the slightly you know cleaner stuff that you might play um i bought the harley benton more for the a sort of a vanity thing really because um one of the um one of the bands i play in is a bit of a heavy sort of progressive rock almost verging on metal bands really right and and i wanted didn't want to go on stage with one of these so i went on stage with that <laughs> and felt a bit more bit more rock and metal only because of the you know the image of the guitar right. to total vanity thing but you know for 200 quid you can you can make a decision based on purely on aesthetics so there you go if you're thinking of buying a what would you say affordable guitar yeah you can't go you can't go wrong can you no, definitely. There's so many choices out there today. So many choices. Have you had any of these set up? Uh, yeah, they've both been set up. They've both been set up? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you might not get this level of playability out of the box. No, no, definitely. So, yeah, you, you again, what I said earlier about cost-effective guitars is, you know, they're like modding platforms for you to do, do, yeah. do your own thing with, really. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. So really hope you guys got something out of that. Well, by the way, if it was my choice, I'd probably go for this one, but I'd want that configuration because <laughs> I think the build quality is slightly better, but they're both fantastic. But, you know, really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the studio. So I'm Paul. And I'm Lee. And we'll see you next time.